good morning. Uh, ex excuse how pale I look. Um, we are all sick in the house and as the least poorly person, it is on me to continue Vlogmas. Um, so who knows what we're gonna get today. I will do my best to carry the torch. Um, I'm starting with my advent calendar today. We have got, we were really, really generously given, Jim and I were both given a Liberty advent calendar and it's been like such a thrill to open it. Jim, what's the date today? 14th. The 14th. A big door here. Look how nice this, like the pattern on this advent calendar is. We have got, oh, collagen serum. Oh, focus camera. And oh, something else. What is this? Ooh, really, really nice mascara. That is today's advent calendar. And then we also have, we also have some here, but they seem to be, all three of them seem to get, oh no, it's not today. Oh, what a thrill. They seem to get eaten before I can get there. That Margot, isn't it, Jim? She's very tall to get here. So, ooh, a fudge. I love a fudge. What's your worst advent? on this gym, on Heroes. I think the eclairs is why. Yeah, the eclairs. So today I thought I would show you a little job that I've been meaning to get round to, which is, I don't know where this came from, but it's a little Santa sack. It actually has an M on it from Argo. And we get, so we are so fortunate, we get a lot of things gifted to us throughout the year, bits and bobs. And in our kitchen, we have these hampers, which, when people come in, if there are things, because often brands, they're really kind, often things like makeup, they'll send multiple shades. And, you know, I don't need five shades of concealer. So we used to, our old, where well, we used to live, our neighbor worked uh, for the NHS. So we used to give it to him and he would take it into the nurses. But now we leave it in these hampers and when friends and family come, they all get a gift something they can, you know, raid the hamper. There's quite a lot in it. And I recently found this little, this kind of Santa sack, um, that I don't know where this came from, but it was in our Christmas decorations box. So I thought I have two colors of wrapping. One will, one will be kind of men, women, and I am gonna wrap all these bits and bobs and we're just gonna have a lucky Santa sack dip. And I guess we're going to my family's for Christmas. So maybe we'll take it with us. My dad has an office, which has quite a lot of people in. Sometimes he takes things into the office and I think we're just gonna, yeah, take the Santa sack with us. And I thought I would show you what I wrap. You can tell that this is normally Jim leading it because I've been like just happily wrapping, watching the holiday and I realize I haven't actually shown you <laughs> what I'm wrapping. So I've just wrapped a few pairs of socks, but I thought I would quickly go through some of the things here. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just like, just so in my own little world. I, just, I didn't even show you the goods. So um, let me start with, what have we got here? We have got a lip plumping set with some lip glosses from Too Faced. We've got this from Murad, which is a really gorgeous, I actually love this. It's really, really nice. It's cleanser, it's like moisturizer. It's just really nice. The purple one is actually my favorite. What else have I got? I've got some bits from Moroccan oil. So I think this is, we've got a hair protect here, but I've also got some, the actual Moroccan oil itself. We've got some Charlotte Tilbury. So we've got some setting spray. It's mostly women's stuff actually. I need to find where all the men's stuff is. Jim's put it somewhere. Oh. I actually already have this palette. They really generously sent it to me and I'm still going through it. So it's this really, really gorgeous, beautifying blush and glow base palette. And then what else have we got? Just like so much kind of bits and bobs. What does Jim put in here? A tie, a little bow tie. I mean, that'll go in. Also while I'm here, I appreciate this is a really long vlog of me just sat on the floor. While I'm here, I'm actually where we are where I'm sat is, if I flip this around, is where kind of Margot likes to hang out. And I actually thought while I'm here, maybe I would go through some of Margot's toys and show you some bits and bobs that we really like. Um, Cause sometimes I get asked about what we like for Margot. We try really hard with Margot to not have excess. I really like that there's kind of 
three or four toys that she just really, really loves and plays with all the time. And we really like wooden toys and things that have got a lot more longevity. Obviously, kids love a bit of bright colours and a bit of plastic. So we do have a few bits and bobs as well, but she does have a few kind of more precious, long lasting toys. And yeah, I just wanted to, maybe if it's coming up to Christmas and you've got kids, you might be interested. So first up we have, actually maybe it's more interesting, if got my face in it as well. We have this, which is a Bernie bus called In from Indigo Jam. Um, my brother got this for Margo for her first birthday, but I have seen similar ones um, on John Lewis and, where did I see one recently? Maybe Jojo's. And it's kind of got, you can see in here, you can take the peg people out, put the peg people back in, wheels along. She loves this bus. This is from Baby Einstein. This was actually a friend got this for us, for Margot. And she loves, like she will sit and play for hours. And often I'm sure if you've got kids, you know, like you're sat there and you think, oh my gosh, my kid's really playing with this toy for ages. And then you look at the time and it's been about a minute. This is one that actually Margot will sit with for ages. So it's a shape sorter and just put the shapes in. Actually, if I get Jim, maybe I'll show him and we can link some of these in the description box, some of these toys, because this is brilliant. And I'm pretty sure that my friend actually bought this one from Amazon. Um, they're not too expensive and she really, really enjoys it. And also she's now kind of, you know, she's working out like she can pull them out the side of the bungee or put them in the top. Some of them shake. So that's a really good toy. This was about 10 pounds from Amazon. We have had this since Margaret was about four or five months old and she is obsessed with it. I, I do not know how this toy just keeps going and going. It's just these little peg people that bounce up and she, when she was really little, she would just take them out and bash them against each other. Now she likes to kind of try and put them in. So sometimes we've currently got it on top of her little play kitchen so that she has to like reach up to get it. But it blows my mind actually that she can be so engaged by this for so long, but she does love this. And then, this is baby Bobby. So she's actually called baby Bobby because we found out that Margot's cousin, so John and Rosie's daughter, Bobby, has a doll and that she got around the time Margot was born. So she named her doll Baby Margot. So we felt like we should repay the favor. This doll is from Miniland. I tried really hard to find a doll for Margot that I didn't just want like a blue eyed, <laughs> blonde, white baby because I just felt like that wasn't really representative of her and her life and just like, I don't know, I wanted something different and these are amazing. I actually bought this one on Amazon, but you can get them everywhere and they do all different types of children. There's like Hispanic children, Asian children, Eurasian children, like all different hairstyles, some with glasses, there's children, like disabled children, there's children. It's just amazing. Basically they have, they have represented everyone. I think the other day I actually even saw one where the doll had like, um, hearing aid in as well for the little baby so they're brilliant so if you're looking for something that represents your child or it's just a really lovely toy a mini land doll mega blocks so i'm not sure um we didn't really touch on it much because we didn't really want to go into it but margot was in hospital for about a week um, with breathing difficulties and when she's in hospital they didn't have many toys so we actually did a toy drive for the hospital but while she was there she obviously she couldn't get out of her bed and she was kind of stuck so it was toys that she could play with and do things while she was sat so i bought these mega blocks again these were about 10 pounds 15 pounds from amazon amazing and they're just big old plastic blocks you know when i was a kid i think they were called duplo Maybe these are just Amazon's version of Duplo, but these are really, really lovely. And she really likes to play with them and kind of stack. And I think what Margot really likes at the moment is she quite likes to just put things in stuff and take things out and stack. And it's more quite like using her hands. Finally, we have Margot's kitchen. So this is a gift that Margot was given from her lovely godfather and she loves we've got a little basket here which has got her margot's fruit and vegetables there's some grapes 
what's that, the garlic. And you know, she stores things in there, opens this, and there's just hours and hours of fun to be had with her kitchen. Every child is different and Margot actually just really loves being out and about. We often kind of go out in the push chair or we'll like go to soft play. But I think when she's home, she just really seems to be drawn to those three or four toys. I'm alive. How do I look? Because I feel gross. Uh, I've been in bed all day. Poor old Sarah's done all the parenting on her own. Um, but I've just been good for nothing. I still feel really diabolical, but slightly less diabolical than I did um, earlier. So that's improvement. I think I've broken the fever. I keep getting like hot and cold flushes, but I think my body temperature now seems much more um, stable at least. Anyway, the only reason I'm out of bed is because it's giveaway time and it's very much a gym giveaway today. Uh, I organised it, it's something that I'm a big fan of um, and I just don't think Sarah's going to do it justice. <laughs> so I would like to introduce you to the Click and Grow here. Now obviously I've got a really big one here uh, because I've got the space for it. I've got nine slots, three units. So, so they come in all different shapes and sizes? Well you can get um, different sizes, you can get smaller. So I basically I've got three of the big ones in a tower. Um, what Click and Grow are giving is one big one um, with the, I forget what it's called exactly, but it's, it's like the I'll Try Anything bundle. Let me explain what it is before I actually do this stuff. Basically, you grow things. It's almost like a coffee pod type system. So <clears throat> you take your, your seed pod, you pop it in here, you fill up water, um, all in the unit here and you grow stuff so this is actually a really good time to show you because I've got a few things that are really mature and I took a few things out recently I had loads of basil I had loads of sage I had loads of lavender I've taken a lot of that out now and sort of distributed it around the house and in the garden so I've got a few new things growing so I'm going to give you a little brief tour of what I've got going on um, at the top here I have some um, tomatoes you can see the little green Baby tomatoes are starting to grow, so it won't be too long until they're, they're ripe. Got some basil here. Um, here I have, I think that's peas. Um, that's lettuce, I've got strawberries up here. I've got some flowers up here that I literally planted a few days ago, so they'll be growing fairly soon. Down here I've got some more tomatoes. Um, this is, um, I think they're the purple chilies in here. So again, they're not fruiting yet, but it won't be too long. Uh, and here I have some yellow peppers. Down here, more tomatoes, um, another yellow pepper, um, more lettuce, more peas, more strawberries, more... Oh, I'm growing cilantro down there too, so coriander. The giveaway is one of the units, so one of these. Uh, with nine slots on it and the I'll Try Anything bundle. I love this thing. I also, by the way, if you are really interested in one of these and you don't win the competition, I also have 25% um, code. Again, I'll put that in the uh, in the description box. There'll be a link. Um, I think it's brilliant. I love it. It brings you loads of joy. We've used a lot of it, haven't we, So We've used a lot of the sage, a lot of the basil. I can't wait for the tomatoes to grow. Yeah, I can't wait for coriander. That's a, that's a herb. I guess I cook quite seasonal, so we've been using quite a lot of like colder weather herbs like yeah. thyme and sage. At the rosemary, moment, I, grew, I, grew, rosemary, I grew rosemary. So basically it's like an indoor garden for flowers if you want flowers, but also like herbs and vegetables and things. Um, that's the giveaway. You know how to enter by now, right? This will be on my Instagram or yours? I can't remember where oh, we are. Oh, it's gym one. Is it on mine? That's a gym. Okay, so it'll be on my Instagram. Terms and conditions, as always, are in the YouTube description box and they'll be uh, under the reel on Instagram. I have an event to go to this evening. I have to leave ooh, in about 45 minutes. I am not ready at all because it's been go, go, go. So I'm in the spare room, which is where I currently have my kind of dressing table and all my makeup set up but the light isn't very good in here so i had to bring up the ring light and kind of aim it at the mirror so i can see myself to do my makeup i get asked quite a lot actually about my makeup and i hate hate like talking about it because i feel like i'm so bad at makeup i've already kind of done a bit of base because i just felt a little bit tired looking or washed out earlier and while margo was asleep i put a bit of concealer in um, some powder on but I'm gonna do I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have a little look but I also thought while I'm here I'll show you my <laughs> very interesting setup for my makeup table so there's a 
lovely little picture of Margot, got some brushes, We've got more brushes here. This is like my everyday makeup, which I keep in this bag. But for a while I was super organized. So I had like a bag for my lipsticks. It's kind of down here. I had like one for, I had one that had like, um, skin stuff like concealer, foundation, one that was all kind of like eye stuff, but now it's just a bit of a mess. And then I have this drawer that kind of pulls out and has various bits and bobs. So that is my face of makeup done. Well, this light is much better than what I was showing you before. So I have just gone really simple with a lip and I think I mentioned it before, my little trusty favorite, NARS and then a little wing, but not too much. If you can hear uh, Maui Margo in the, in the background. background. Margo yeah. is uh, playing at the moment, but this is my finished look for tonight. I'm actually going out for dinner with Longchamp. So this is a full Longchamp. This is their new box trot bag. And how gorgeous is that color? Really nice color. No, I've actually not put anything in it yet. Oh. <laughs> Just showing it for the look. <laughs> but yeah, this is me. Terrific. I love it. Thank you. You. Alright, Margot. I, I fixed that yesterday. What are you right? doing?